Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the cage, Will Monroe. Adam, this is the one that I have been looking forward to all week. Will Monroe is one of the toughest that we have seen. He has over 15 fights in the world of mixed martial arts. He has no losses in the world of kickboxing. He is big, he is strong, and he is fast. Yeah, this is a matchup among giants. You know, these are two very big dudes, and Will is a phenomenal athlete. So, you know, don't blink. And his opponent, James Seltzer. Coming to the cage by way of the church and out of the knees build character gym with glory kickboxing veteran Quentin O'Brien in his corner, it is James Selzer. Now Selzer sports a three and two record. He is on a two fight losing streak and he said tonight that all ends. Yeah, James has really picked up his training. As you said, he's training at the KBC gym. Uh, under Quentin O'Brien, really trying to expand his his skill set, so we'll see how he comes and uh, you know puts on a show tonight. As we go to our supplement superstores, tail of the tape, James Selzer, 29 years old, six foot two, 259.8 pounds. Will Monroe, 24 years old, six foot four, 248.4 pounds. These are true heavyweights, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is set for three rounds in the Shamrock Fighting Championships heavyweight kickboxing division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the Bogart Smokehouse Blue Corner, a fighter that stands six feet four inches tall, official weight 248.4 pounds, Fighting out of Sparta, Illinois, Will Monroe! His opponent across the cage fighting tonight out of the first form red corner. This fighter stands six feet two inches tall. He weighed in at 259.8 pounds. Fighting out of St. Peter's, Missouri, James Selzer! Referee Tim Francis has his hands full tonight with the heavyweights. James Selzer in the black shorts, Will Monroe in the white shorts. And here we go. Quick touch of gloves. Touch of the gloves and into the action. Selzer first takes the center of the cage. Nice feints. Selzer Phaeton trying to, you know, draw a reaction. Big shot by Selzer. Monroe answering right back, though. Both of these guys throwing heavy punches. You hear every one of these shots. You know, you're seeing James kind of control the pace here, starting to stock down Will. Will catches that kick, throws some big shots. Can't just hold that and keep throwing. Yeah, you got to throw one and let go. Let go. James with the pressure coming forward. But he's eating punches as he moves forward. Big shot there by Monroe. Yeah. Monroe is finding a home with that jab. Yeah, Will's throwing. Oh, huge check left hook. Nice hook there. I was going to say he's throwing a lot of ones and twos, and they're landing, you know, as James is just coming forward. Cells are answering back. Now a bit of a clinch. A little bit knee there by James. Monroe just opening up. Selzer needs to get out of there. Good job to get out of the corner. Answers with a body kick. A little smile there by Will. Will holding his hands low. Just Will almost taunting him. Just enticing James to come in. Big, oh, huge hands by there, Monroe. Big shots by Will. James needs to circle. Oh, that rocked Selzer. Big shots. James just coming forward. St. Louis, Louis is just makes so noise. strong here. Needing the body. Nice uppercut there out of Selzer. Yeah, 
James is not backing down. Big knee. Knee, knee of his own. You will never see a guy out of the church back down. You know, James has an, a, a phenomenal chin. He can take a lot of shots. As you can see here, he's still coming forward. Now, do we see a potentially tired Give Will Monroe up, there Lewis, at the end? Give it up, St. Louis! Let him sloppy. hear you! You know, maybe it's hard to say. You know, his, he's holding those hands low. You know, man. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm a little lost for words. That was such well, an exciting round, just so much back and forth between both of those guys. It really was. The whole thing is here is that when when you have this, number one, both of these guys are very skilled at this. And number two, they throw very, very hard. Yeah, and, and you know, as much brawling as there was there, there was still very technical punches yes. with the shots. It wasn't just winging from the hip. No, at all. As we look here at our instant replay again, Monroe pushing Selzer back. Not something that they're used to. Yeah, you know, based off that round, you, i got to give that round to Will. I think he landed the better of the shots. Um, you know, he set Selzer on his heels on two occasions. Yeah, he was able to mount you know, his own offense and really you know, walk down James. James immediately takes the inside of the oh, cage there. Monroe and just kind of waits for him. Wait, just wait for him to walk to him, and they kicked him. Big oh, knee big from knee Monroe. Chest. Big overhand there out of Selzer. These guys are Both just, of these guys just dropping bombs. Now this is much more of that winging brawl yes. we were just talking about. You know, I don't know if Will is just maybe a little bit more tired, so he's just resorting to just making this an ugly dog fight. But Selzer is just eating him with reckless abandon and just keeps moving forward. Yeah, you know, there's a nice little flurry there by James O to the body. Selzer is picking up the pace. and that I think he knows that Monroe's tired. You know... That leg kick, though, that hurt. Yeah, Will keeps going to that, you know, that leg kick on the front leg there of James, and... And James, he's not really checking. Oh, big, Ooh, big left big hand shot. out of Selzer. Huge one, one minute right remaining in, in the round. Us. Tim Francis gets in between the wall that is these two. Hands real low by Monroe Will. looks tired. James just walking him down, coming forward. Selzer moves forward again. Big knee by James. I think James is the fresher of the two at Absolutely, this I think you know, he is. Big leg kicks there, though, by Will. Will has to get those hands up. Big kick to the body by Selzer. Both of these guys just dropping bombs. And, and, and Selzer James, moves forward 20 again. 20 seconds James remaining. keeps coming forward. Oh. Little slip. Standing eight count. Monroe looks tired. He's got to stand up. I'm not sure if, if referee Tim Francis just you know saw that Will has his hands low and he's backing up a lot, eating a lot of shots. Decided to give him the standing but eight count there. But that's big for Selzer. Not only I think did Selzer win that round, but that becomes a 10-8 because a of the knockdown. And now are we tied? Very possibly. Very possibly. That is for sure a 10-8 round. Yeah, we're tied. I mean, it could be. Look at here in Whoa. the instant replay. Monroe is tired. Now, Tim Francis well, gives him a standing eight count on his own leg kick. Well, actually, we're not tied. One round apiece, but because that is probably a 10-8 round with the standing eight count, now James is up by one point. He's winning the fight. I got to do some math, Adam. I think you're right. You are correct, sir. 18 to 19. And that's why you, sir, are the professional fighter. So, you know, Will either needs to finish this fight or have it decided. Ladies and gentlemen, this is round. your third and final round. Make some noise! Monroe is breathing heavy. Selzer looks fresh. Yeah, James is definitely the fresher of the two. You know, again, unless Will gets the knockout, um, you know, some sort of decisive 10-8, you know, finish. 
What are they feeding them over at the church? Selzer just keeps moving forward. Yep. He's going to eat that leg kick and just answer back with a big right hand. You know, James is a different breed of, of, of human, to be honest <laughs> with you. You know, he can take a lot of punishment and just keep coming forward. Low blow there. Low blow. Inadvertent. So let's get it. Yeah, Selzer knows that Monroe's tired. He doesn't want to wait. James. Monroe answered back. Oh, big, big knee, big knee. right hand. Will is not backing down from James, and At James is all. bringing the fight right now. Big Ooh. knee out of Selzer. Big knee by Selzer. Will catches it, kind of takes him down. No a knockdown bit. on either side. More of a dump, not quite a dump, more of a takedown, really. And James just more right, right with yeah. the pressure. Big, Big kick there out kick of James. Cut. He's got to let that go. Selzer's oh. hurt. I think I think James is really feeling. Oh, it's that knee. Those leg kicks now, and I think whenever he got that cut, you know, it kind of put a lot of pressure on that knee in a weird way. This is where checking leg kicks comes in. Yeah, I don't think James has checked a single kick this entire night. Up until night it started to hurt. Until right this very second. So he's eaten a lot of leg kicks, and, you know, you got to imagine he just switched to a southpaw stance. You got to imagine his knee is really feeling Absolutely. The, feeling the damage right now. He's limping. He switched to that southpaw stance. He cannot Big take neither. any more leg kicks. Big uppercut. Both guys are slow. Selzer again is just trying to survive. Ten seconds. Now he's dropping some hands. Big shot out of Selzer again. Oh, big, big knee there out of Monroe. What a fight! What a fight! Well, let's indeed. hear it for both fighters, Jeremy, ladies and gentlemen. I have to imagine that James limping, not take, you know, not checking those leg kicks has got to play a factor in this round. I agree. Will might have just squeaked this one out with those leg kicks. Neither you know, of these fighters have James ever is, been finished in their careers. very hurt. This is one of those kind of fights. Literally, neither one of them have ever been finished. There was no backing down. No, there was no backing down out of either of these guys. Now, the chopping leg kick taking out that front knee of Selzer. As we take a look here at our instant replay, he goes southpaw. We see then Monroe just starts to land big knees. He's trying to kick that back leg, but he eats the shots. Instead, Selzer moves forward. This is such a close fight. Very close. James did a great job, you know, adjusting, switching to the southpaw, just doing what he could, not, you know, eating any more damage than he had to on that lead leg. Uh, man, great fight by both of these. These titans of men. I hope James didn't sustain any, you know, sustainable damage to that left leg. Those are some very, very, uh, you know, brutal shots to that Definitely. knee. You know, typically it's after the fight is over and the and the, the adrenaline wears down that you start feeling those those shots that you took, but. Obviously, James is feeling it right away. They are still working out the numbers here. Again, what a fight. This is what the Shamrock FC experience is all about. He's got Fight of the Night written all over it. I told you, this was the one I was looking forward to all week, and they delivered. Rightfully so. A big show of sportsmanship there. Of course, we still have more action to come as our main event, Josh Augustine and Josh Weston throwing down. This fight was supposed to happen in Bellator. There was a weight cutting issue, so the fight did not happen. And we are lucky enough here to have it at Shamrock Fighting Championships. Again, just waiting on the judges' decisions here. Got some tricky math here. There is a lot of math going on. I'm, I'm real interested to see how this one plays out. I think that's All right, ladies this and gentlemen, let's hear it for Joe both Parisi. of these fighters. After three incredible rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. The judges at Cage Sky have scored this bout 29-28 Monroe, 29-28 Selzer, and 28-28 
Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is a split draw. Crowd not happy with that, Jeremy. Crowd not happy at all with that one. I can see it, though. I can see how it went that way. You know, I, well, I, I think I'd probably give that last round to Will. Um, you know, he was... Give it up for both of these guys. They both Silver, deserve a round of applause tonight. There you go. There you they go. left now it all in the cage for you, ladies and gentlemen. Let them hear you. A beautiful fight there, though, out of these two heavyweights. And we have more action to come.